it's the horrifying characters that audiences remember the most about a good horror film. The plot barely ever sticks if the villains aren't interesting. Without Skarsgård's Pennywise, the movie wouldn't be the timeless, amusing horror classic that it is. Nobody could ever forget the terrifying clown-like demon that preys on children. Today, we'll be looking at 14 of the scariest villains of all time that we have come across in horror movies. First off, at number 14, we have Annabelle. After appearing just a few moments in The Conjuring, this terrifying doll became so popular that she received her own movie. Annabelle is a toy you want to stay away from. Whether it's because of her creepiness or because she was based on an actual doll that allegedly killed at least one person, Annabelle's character has a certain persona, built even more intensely thanks to the jump scares the movies love to give us now and then. Her white dress coupled with her insane eye makeup and wide open eyes just get under our skins effortlessly. There is just something about creepy dolls that bring out the deepest fears in our hearts. Following up with number 13, it's Michael Myers. Michael Myers will always rank among the most terrifying villains, regardless of the murder weapon he chooses. Strode understood from the very first day he started to terrorize her. That leaving him behind forever will be the hardest thing she ever does. Unyielding, Michael will kill whomever he feels like until he achieves his goal, which is to murder whomever he wants. This killer is silent and moves extremely slowly, even though Michael has been in several movies and fans have seen the original 1978 picture so many times, he still manages to leave us screaming every time. Coming up at number 12, we have Slenderman. Slenderman is the fictitious character that first appeared as an urban legend and a meme on the internet. Fans were able to witness this cultural phenomenon being transformed into an entire villain thanks to the influence of social media. But is anyone shocked that a towering, faceless creature that causes people to disappear became a staple of the horror movie genre? Even without the help of Twitter memes, we believe that Slender Man is one of the creepiest creatures to exist in horror movies. Moving on to number 11, it's Samara Morgan. Why do malicious entities always pose as harmless people? Well, because the formula always works. Samara Morgan in the ring appears to be a quiet, reserved young girl at first, but man, is she evil. She is a Japanese Onryo spirit in actuality, seeking retribution. For what? We don't quite know ourselves. But her presence reminds us to never believe kids in horror movies. Tropes like hers prove themselves successful because of how off guard we are caught when an innocent looking child turns out to be vicious. After seeing so many movies with scary kids, including The Ring, we're sure never to look at kids the same way again. Following up with number 10, it's Leatherface. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre boasts a villain so terrible, you'll forget that it's all fiction at the end of the day. Decades after the original movie, the human-skinned villain Leatherface has chopped and sliced his way into the collective psyche. Horror enthusiasts still wince at the mere mention of the sadistic villain. The character has been involved in many sequels, reboots, and spin-offs since the original movie. However, the way the Leatherface makes your heart sink in fear and discomfort in the original movie is still unmatched. Coming up at number 9, we have Hannibal Lecter. Even though Clarice Starling is a sharp character, the terrifying and unsettling villain from Silence of the Lambs stands out far more. Because of the horrifying and sinister reality that he is a cannibal, Hannibal Lecter has emerged to be among the most prominent horror characters. Thanks to this iconic movie and the TV series, even non-horror enthusiasts are familiar with Hannibal, suggesting that he has a significant place in popular culture. Horror lovers will forever want to peek into Hannibal's head and understand how his mind really works. Up next at number 8, it's Chucky. Do not trust dolls, especially those who introduce themselves as Chucky and you ask to play with them. The horror thriller series Child's Play centers on a serial murderer who terrorizes Chucky's owners by transforming his soul into a doll. Talk about a defective toy. Chucky was the childhood villain of everyone's nightmares, and it's safe to say that he still sends chills down our spines to this day. The unforgettable horror character is still getting remakes. In fact, a Chucky TV show is in the making, years after the originals were released. So his reign 
reign of horror continues. Moving on to number 7, we have Reagan McNeil. The Exorcist chronicles the journeys taken by Reagan McNeil. When she is seized by a demon, her life becomes perplexing, terrible, and dark, and because she starts acting differently, she terrifies everyone around her. It makes sense that Reagan would receive such high praise given that The Exorcist was innovative at the time it came out. It's the benchmark for movies involving demons possessing humans. Reagan feels dreadful since she's being taken over and doesn't have control over her mind and body, helplessly scaring everyone around her. Coming up at number 6, it's the Chatterer. One of the most terrifying villains in the film Hellraiser is Chatterer, a Cenobite considered part of Pinhead's inner circle. He was Jim before he became a Cenobite, and he led a sad and horrible life. He enjoys inflicting pain on others because he has had so much of it in the past. This character is pretty underrated compared to some more well-liked ones in the horror genre. This is because Hellraiser isn't as well-known as some of the other horror franchises. We admit that the plot isn't for everyone, but even if you just look at Chatterer, you will feel chilled to your bones. Following up with number 5, we have Pennywise. It's safe to say that Pennywise from Stephen King's It regularly visits people in their dreams, and not in a good way. Even though there are some spooky clowns from horror films, audiences remember Pennywise better. It could be his sinister grin, his white painted face, his vintage attire, or his tendency to entice children into dairy main sewers. Since he preys on the defenseless and young, Pennywise feels especially eerie. Seeing Pennywise is much worse for those who are already scared of clowns. In that case, his intense appearance makes it easy to imagine them having nightmares about him. Being one of the most memorable clown villains in the history of horror movies, we can't imagine this list without him. Up next at number 4, it's Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger, the villain from the 1984 movie A Nightmare on Elm Street, still lives in all of our minds to this day because of his striped sweater and fedora, as well as the fact that he speaks a lot, he tends to make a lasting impression while still being extremely terrifying. Freddy makes jokes and frequently converses with his captives, and he can murder them right in the middle of their nightmares, which makes him all the more terrifying. Due to how challenging it is to defeat him, Freddy will forever be a great villain in our hearts. Moving on to number 3, we have Jason Voorhees. We can't help but go back to 1980s movies, the years that undoubtedly saw the peak of the horror genre. This choice is particularly intriguing because, technically speaking, Jason isn't the bad guy in the original horror movie. Rather, it's his mother who kills the campers. Although he didn't don his trademark mask till the third movie in the series, his machete and distinctive hockey mask made him a figure that audiences would never forget. They would forever identify the mask with the franchise as well as horror films in general, which is a clear indication of a successful character. Coming up at number two, we have Babadook. As we have implied earlier in this list, never trust children. They look very adorable and inviting, but it is all deceptive. In Babadook, the villain was a product of a child's hallucination. The character was depicted as a book character in one of the children's books. Once hallucinated, he turned into reality, having a pale white face and a top hat. We can't forget his razor sharp teeth, which still haunts us to this day. Yes, he was one creepy villain. Finally, first on our list is Jack Torrance. Straying away from the typical horror movie format, The Shining was a game changer. At its time, the movie's existence was a shocker. Being a psychological horror flick that steeps right into your mind and stays there for days, all of that was thanks to Jack Torrance and its flawless execution by Jack Nicholson. The way we see Jack's descent into insanity makes you feel like you're almost going insane with the man. The sequences in the film are full of confusion. His behavior is so hard to understand it terrifies you. When he begins to disregard his wife and child is where you know that he has entirely lost it. The legendary Here's Johnny scene is still one of the best horror scenes you'll ever see, despite the movie being from way back in the early 1980s. And that's a wrap folks, which one is your favorite horror movie character? Tell us in the comments below. And as always, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on more exciting content during the spooky season. See you in the next video.